Okay, so product overview of our MobiPrint application by Arrowhead Corporation. Um, so uh, let's back up again. Our home screen um, is this. Um, so right out, right out of the get-go, you're going to want to set up your printer. Um, this has the capability of finding all Bluetooth attached uh, Zebra printers as well as um, wireless um, printers. Uh, when you click uh, search, it will go through some discovering processes through local, subnet, multicast, um, to find all the, the printers attached or on your network. Um, you also can set it to auto discover. Uh, so if you set it to on, every time you visit this page, it'll search for new printers. Uh, for now, we're going to leave it off. Um, I have a Bluetooth printer attached to my iPad mini here. Uh, so uh, click on it and I have some options here. Um, I can test a label. Uh, so you hear the test that popped out. Um, you can remove it from the list or you can connect to it. Uh, so I'm going to connect to it, uh, which is what I did. That little check mark uh, over there to the right says that I'm connected. This is the friendly name of the device, uh, IMZ320. Um, you can also add um, printers uh, manually. So we can go in here and type in the IP address, port, and what you want to name it and, and add it. Um, I'm, so far the, the searching works great. You should only have to add it in um, different uh, cases. Um, so that's the process of searching for printers. Um, this is going to give you a list over here below under recent printers of uh, you know uh, previously connected devices um, and uh, once we're connected to a device, um, we have a print utilities menu, uh, which we're adding more features to, but um, these give you some print utilities for the printers. Mobile printers, um, sometimes they come in CPCL language, sometimes they come in ZPL language. Um, you can actually set our app to determine what language it's in. Uh, and it will send the correct print code to it based upon that. Um, in some cases, you do have to um, override that uh, with some of the, the new Zebra Link OS printers. Um, so uh, that's the printer language section. Um, it also has the ability to set the gap or bar sensor. So that's, that's very useful in, in mobile printers. Uh, battery health is kind of cool. Um, you can tell how much battery health you have left. Uh, right now it's actually plugged into the wall, so it's displaying 100%. Um, uh, set battery timeout, this is good. Uh, this is the timeout that it allows you, if you, just in case you make an accident and put 12 seconds, uh, it won't let you do, um, it'll save you from having to reflash your printer uh, because uh, chances are you won't be able to send a command in 12 seconds. Um, so that's pretty useful if you want to um, if you don't use your, your printer that often and you want it to stay on, um, you can set that uh, up to, you know, 1,200, 1,500. You can, you can set the timeout in seconds. Um, print configuration is exactly what it sounds uh, like. You print that. Um, this is also known as a two-key report, but this is a simple way to um, send it with the printer, and out comes uh, the print configuration page. Um, we also have a file directory. Um, this, this is going to display the file directories that are on the printer. Uh, sometimes we, we put logos or special font files, um, things of that nature. Also have the ability to upload um, files to there as well as firmware. Web directory, this is, um, this is where we are going to store our label formats. Um, these are the formats that you're going to be selecting when you're printing out your labels. So. If you have a custom format and you want to upload it to our web server, you'll have the ability to do that um, and uh, set that format in our application right in the pre-generated format section. Obviously, it's not highlighted. It's not 100% done yet. Um, our print, uh, print menu screen. This is um, the, the print menu screen that can receive uh, variables from other applications or it also can just print out um, static information. Um, so here, uh, in this case, it stored the last application that transferred data, which looks like FileMaker uh, transferred a couple of variables over 
Um, this is where it's going to store the label format that we have selected. Um, this just is a menu that takes you back to the print setup right there. Um, this is the number of copies you want to print. I'm going to leave that at one. Uh, print is whether you want it to auto print when it hits this screen or not. Very useful tool there. And these are the variables that you're going to, um, the dynamic variables that you're going to be printing. Okay. It's important to remember that this application um, was developed as not only a utility, but also as um, an automated print app um, that will receive variables uh, from any iOS application, FileMaker, um, any native iOS app, uh, all the way to a web service, Safari, Chrome. Um, it also can print from um, mail. Um, and furthermore, in the future, we will be um, have the ability to connect to ODBC connectors uh, to connect to local databases or SQL databases, um, FileMaker databases, uh, pretty much anything to allow uh, printing in the cloud. Um, so this is really just the start of um, what we feel is some pretty good functionality for people um, that need printing. And if you have any questions, um, feedback, or uh, improvements, uh, please let me know. Uh, you can email me at brent at arrowheadcorp.com. Thank you.